Hey guys, this is Kaizen here, and today I'm going to show you how to make a silent hopper clock that is fully adjustable up to 4 minutes and 15 seconds. Now the design is here behind me, and as you can see it's incredibly simple and compact. All of the materials are listed here in my hotbar, there will be a list in the description if you want to see them. So the way that this essentially works, if I just show you a quick overview on screen, some of you will be able to build it from this, I will do a full build through at the end though. Uh, but what we have here is uh, droppers, two facing into each other with one item passing between them, you see there. And then in the hoppers here, you can put as many items as you want. So I've got eight in here at the moment, going back and forth, and you can see the sort of signal length that that will give. If you have one hopper completely full with stacks of items, uh, then basically it will take the four minutes and 15 seconds that I mentioned. Uh, so over here, we're, this one's running on eight as well, and you can see, there we go, it's turning on a lamp. So this is probably the easiest place to draw a signal from. You can draw a signal from other parts of the machine, though, if you would like to. So let's get into how we build it, and I'll also show you how to set it to a one cycle, so you can essentially turn it on and off if you would like. So guys, this is very simple to build. You just want two blocks down there like that, with two blocks on top like that. So you have this as your basic structure with a comparator here and here going into these two blocks and a redstone torch on top of each of these two blocks. The next thing you're going to want to do is come back one and place down a, another two blocks like this and you're going to put a torch on each of these inside here. You are then going to need to place down your hoppers. Now to do this what you want to do is place them facing into each other. So you place that one in there, delete that one and that one Oops, into there. So they look like this and they are facing into each other. Now on top of these hoppers, if you stand up here, you can shift down and place two comparators like this facing off this way. And these are going to go into more blocks like this. Get rid of that one right there and put redstone dust on top of that. Okay, so the next thing to do is place your droppers. So if we stand over here, we can place a dropper up there and then we can place some temporary blocks here like this and walk down this way to place this dropper facing into this one like that. So that is essentially how the machine is going to look. Now what you do want to do is go into your droppers and place just one item in there. Make sure it is just one and make sure these are droppers and not dispensers. Both of those things are important. Now we can set this to whatever we want. If we put in you know, just one item like this, you'll see that it will change between the two very quickly. Uh, now, I'm glad this happened actually. Sometimes you'll find this where your item, uh, where has it gone? It's just over here, it gets stuck. If that happens, Go to the side, the hopper that it's not in, go to this block here, place a button, and when you push that button, it will then start the mechanism. And you can see, there it goes. So that does happen sometimes, don't worry, you just have to do what I did there. Um, and of course, you can chuck in you know, a load more items if you want to slow this down a bit and have a longer pulse. Then what you do from here is up to you. As I said, you can have a system going off like this uh, to draw the power and do whatever it is you want. And you can play with the timings if you're doing something like a mob crusher or something like that. Okay, so if you want to set it so that you can turn the machine on and off, here is what you do. You need to get rid of one of the comparators on this blocks here. It doesn't matter which one. Now what you'll find when you do that is eventually all of the blocks will run out of one of the hoppers and they'll all pull in the other ones. So we've got eight in here and zero in here. Very good. Now, once you've got that, place a button on the side that has no items in the hopper in this place here under this torch. And when I hit this item, you'll notice that it starts up again. So all the items are going to pass into here and then go back into there and it's going to complete one cycle. So once they all go back into the other hopper, this goes back on, this goes off and they're all stuck here. If I was to push it again, it starts up again, this goes off, this goes on and it will go through the full cycle until once again the items pass back and go back into here. So this could be useful if you want to crush mobs, for example, and get them down to a one heart kill so that you can then kill them and get the XP. Guys, that is the very simple silent adjustable hopper clock. I hope you like this episode. If you want to see more Minecraft tutorials and videos, please do subscribe and like for more. But for this one, that's it. So thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one.